If you really love someone, then you should accept them for who they are. Why the fuck am I getting emotional? <laughs> going to react to the new Netflix movie, The Half of It, directed by Alice Wu. I normally provide book commentary, but I have gotten a few requests of me reacting to this movie, so we're gonna change it up a little bit. This is a movie about an awkward Asian girl, not like Laura Jean awkward, but like a legit awkward Asian girl. Part of her side hustle is she gets paid to write other people's essays for her, and then one day this himbo dude approaches her and asks her to write love letters to his crush. The twist is that she ends up falling for that same girl as well. From what I could tell from the trailer, it seemed like it was less of a love story and more about this friendship between this awkward Asian girl and the dumb himbo that she meets. And I just love seeing a platonic male and female friendship in a teen movie because I don't think you really see that often. There's just this expectation that if there's a male lead and a female lead that they should be a couple. That shouldn't be the case. A guy and a girl can be friends and that is still valid. My prediction is she probably will not end up with the girl, but neither will the guy. I think the other girl that they have a crush with, I feel like she doesn't even have a personality from what I gleaned from the trailer. I think she's just a pretty face. I didn't see anything else from there, but I think she's just like a plot device for the two of them to become friends, but I don't think she will actually end up with anybody. I assume that probably maybe both of them might kiss her. I really don't think it's going to end with any romantic relationship, but I think instead it's going to emphasize on the friendship. Her friendship with this himbo is going to encourage her to break out of her shell and embrace her own true desires and wants, whether it's liking a girl or pursuing music or some other creative field or whatever. Let's play it. I also have cantaloupe with me because I'm going to eat fruit while watching this because, you know, Asian representation. Love is simply the name for the desire and pursuit of the whole. What whole? What whole are we talking about? That's disgusting. I thought this was a PG-13 movie. Leaving our split selves to wander the earth in misery. Oh no. I know this movie is gonna make me cry. I can just feel it. <sighs> I know the story that she's talking about. How people were born into twos, but then they got split apart and that's the whole idea of soulmates. And I know that they're gonna subvert the trope later on because you think they're talking about romantic soulmates, but it turns out the friendship is the soulmates all along and that's valid. Mm. There's an unspoken understanding. <laughs> I don't wanna cry this early. Okay, I'm gonna suck the tears back in. <sighs> Of course, the ancient Greeks never went to- Oh God, you know what? Never mind. this was just a mood killer. The only boner I want in this movie is a friendship boner, okay? Take these acne-ridden high school background actors out of my face because this is not what I'm here for. I love the cinematography and how the scenes are shot. It's so freaking good. Yes! Yes, show me that silhouette cross-faded with each other to introduce this main character who's very thoughtful and poignant. Your last chance to strut your stuff. Girl, I know you're so fucking talented. You better believe in yourself. Oh, you know what? I support the side hustle too. Do it, get your coin. Honestly, I think she should charge more than $20. She should charge like a dollar amount per word instead of like a flat rate. I don't know. I think I should be her manager here and just, I feel like we should discuss ways to elevate her business practices. Man, man, I wanna be when I'm older. He looks like he would be in Riverdale. Mm, of course. Is always the brunette girl reading a book in the corner to make up for a lack of personality. What are you, Belle from Beauty and the Beast? You think that just reading books gives you a personality? I guess a lot of booktubers do think that, but you know. I see that gaze. Oh, gaze, literally. <laughs> Get it, like G-A-Z-E, but instead it could also mean G-A-Y-S because she's given the gay look. Or not one where anyone gets what they want. Oh, that's a hint that they're not gonna get the girl, but they're gonna get each other. Look at that himbo, he's such a dumbass, but I like him. <laughs> Why is the talent show mandatory for students? What if a student doesn't have any talent? 
chugga chugga choo choo. More like fuh 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 fuck you. Ten dollars for three pages, twenty dollars for three to ten. Ten dollars for three pages? What kind of pathetic flat rate is this? You are underselling yourself. If you were gonna charge people for this, and if you're gonna put in the effort to write these essays, you might as well charge more. You should be calculating how much time it takes for you to write these essays and then double the amount per hour. I'm just saying, she needs a business manager. I could really be helping her out right here. I could make her an entrepreneur. What's this? A letter. Who writes letters these days? Yeah, who writes letters these days? Why the fuck are you coming to me for that? You think I'm Laura Jean? You think every Asian looks the same? You himbo? Get your knockoff Peter Kavinsky reject ass out of here. Just kidding. I probably will like him more than Peter Kavinsky. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> He said, I think you're really beautiful, but he wrote it as Y-O-U-R. Oh my God, he's illiterate. <laughs> Wait, let's pause this letter because I really want to see it full. I think you're really beautiful, but even if you were ugly, I'd want to know you because you are smart and nice too. It's hard to find out all of those things in a girl, but even if you were only two of those things, I'd be into it, but you're like, all three, just to be clear. Bars, dude. I think he should go ahead and just submit it. No, no, I can pay more for authentic. God, he can barely speak. I can be more authentic. I can pay more for authentic. Ooh, poverty representation. We love seeing the full experience of immigrants that you don't necessarily see in Crazy Rich Asians and to all the boys that lived before. $50, one letter. After that, you're on your own. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what you gotta do. You gotta bank on his white privilege. I support it. I support the side hustle. You gotta do what you gotta do. All I'm saying is that I like fries. I like dipping them in my milkshake. Is that weird? It's actually really tasty. <laughs> what the fuck is with this dude? I'm not good with words. Really? I couldn't tell. Uh, love makes you screwy. I think you're already screwy to begin with. Like maybe since birth. And I think you should see a doctor. When you're a pretty girl, and I know it makes me sound conceited, but that's why you're even writing me, right? Ooh, she's not wrong. Not like them as in I like you, but like them as in I am like you. Why is she being initiated into a cult? Is this what happens when you're pretty? Oh, it's so hard to be a pretty girl. That's the only personality trait she has. It's hard to be pretty. So I'm like a lot of people, which makes me kind of no one. You know she has a Tumblr. I can just tell. Babe, taco time. Ew, gross. I thought this was a PG-13 movie. She looks so gross. You don't know this, but this is actually how some booktubers talk. Some booktubers that you think are really nice actually talk like that, but you don't know that because they put on a nice personable image. I know the truth, because I'm that awkward Asian girl and I'd be hearing these things. I had a painting teacher once tell me that the difference between a good painting and a great painting is typically five strokes. Damn, speaking of five strokes, Ellie Chu is about to show you them. That's creative. Wow, she really went out of her way. You know what? She shouldn't be charging $50. I think this deserves like $100. Oh my God. Wait, this shit is from that one music video, Bad Day by Daniel Powell, I think is his name. But it's like this couple takes turns painting on a wall and that's how they like communicate with each other. The most unrealistic part of this whole montage is that no one has drawn penises on the walls. This is also why I would never be the Asian protagonist in a teen movie, because I would be the one drawing penises on the walls. Why is he mad? That looks beautiful. <gasps> or not. Wow. Everything beautiful is ruined. That's called whitewashing, literally. I'm gonna text her. Wait, what? At a certain point, you gotta close. <laughs> Look what you did. You messed it up with your foolishness. Can't you see? She's sick of testosterone. Now she wants the poussoir. It's a date, not a book report. You damn fool. You damn 
Four. What is that book though? Kazuo Ishiguro? I've been to Paolo's books before. You know what? I could definitely seduce her if I wanted to. Put me in the ring. I can do it. I got this. I can emotionally manipulate her. You've probably already read it. I'm pretty sure he's never read a book in his life. Yeah, totally. No, I, I love uh, Nazis. <gasps> no! No! He better be glad that he doesn't have a Twitter because he will get canceled so fast. What about that date wasn't bad? You have nothing in common. Yeah, not yeah, man, she has a brain and you don't. Choo -choo! Hey, who are you calling Choo Choo? Oh, we love an ally. Shit, and then drive away. Hey, you better run. What? What? <laughs> oh, what a cute little himbo. We can do this. We can do this. If we combine your brain and my two brain cells together, we can write a somewhat coherent sentence to this girl. I'll pay you double. You don't have to pay me. What do you mean? Why? Take his money. <laughs> Take his money. He probably doesn't know how to count his money anyway, and he wouldn't even notice. Take it. Take it. It's called reparations. This is reverse colonialism. You gotta make your ancestors proud. The key thing about the Philadelphia story is that it's a plea for tolerance. Check this out. I'm calling it taco sausage. Do you want a bite? No. You know what? I hate that, you know, this is a movie that's supposed to be about Asian representation, but realistically, I'm more like this dumbass here. We're writing a profile on the student we most admire. Oh, cool, cool. What are you doing like in the workplace? <laughs> it's the Aster like lean meats. What are you saying? Is this foreshadowing to later? What do you got going on down there? Oh my god, is he writing? Oh, he knows how to write! He's learning how to write! Good for you, dude. I'm so proud of you. Oh my god, he's learning his ABCs. We love character development. Oh, oh. <gasps> no, not his head. You know we have very limited resources with his brain cells. He can't risk anymore. What I really want is just to run my own shop. You know, with new recipes. And if I talk with sausage, it's really effing good. Why does he talk so weird? But you know what? Overlooking that, that's sweet that he has a dream and a goal for himself that he wants to open his own shop. Perhaps he does have devs. Perhaps he snapped. Uh, they're Nana's recipes. And if Ma can't have her Nana, at least she can keep making her sausages. And if I break away, it'll break her heart and it's either her heart or mine. So I stay. Damn, he's really laying out his heart like that. You know what? I appreciate a man who is vulnerable like that. Good for you. Good for you for taking down toxic masculinity. That word is probably too complex for you, but just know you did good. All right, let's share our vulnerabilities. Plan was to be promoted to system engineer or anything engineer. It's quite was a jumping off point. Turns out speaking good English Trump's having a PhD. Oh no, this is too real. Yeah, it's true. It's really, really tough to get a promotion when you are an immigrant. It's tough for any Asians to move up in the workplace because even beyond the whole immigration barrier and the language barrier, Asians just are not seen as fitting for leadership roles. So it's like we have accessibility to a lot of these fields, but we don't have mobility to go upwards. You can really tell that the director for this movie is an Asian. Asian woman because a lot of this stuff is so real and on the nose and I appreciate that. My dad, he doesn't speak very good. He's not bad. No, I don't speak very good either. Oh, <gasps> that's so true. Oh my God, look at him acknowledging the double standards because he is probably more illiterate than her own dad <laughs> and yet he's doing fine. How do you feel about pot roast? I should get back to the station. No, we gotta eat. I think what's cute about him constantly asking if she wants to eat is that that's also kind of an Asian thing. They ask if you've eaten yet or they insist that you eat. It's kind of like how Asians say I love you without explicitly stating that. I don't know if this was done on purpose, but I like that this was emphasized for his character. Maybe I'm reading it too deeply, but I stand. <laughs> this looks like a Make America Great Again rally. <laughs> He's so big and tall. What a buffoon. Where were you born? In Squamish. 
What about you? Yeah, that was a coherent sentence. Good for you. I was born in Suzhou, China. When did you come here? <laughs> Look at how hard he's concentrating on being gentle and slow. Like, where are you from? When did you come here? Satan plants the seed of doubt, and from that seed grows sin. Sin is everywhere. Those looks that you're giving to each other is a sin. I feel bad for making that joke. <laughs> You're lucky to live in a good town like Squaw. <laughs> His fucking smile. He's like a dumb dog. You know what it's like to finally meet someone your age who gets you? You know where else you can meet people your age who get you? College. Yes. Yes. She got a point. Don't be she mad just because she said the truth. Giving up on the taco sausage? Oh, no way. I've been running to the paper and went at you for months now. Hey, you gotta try it. Just try it. Try it for him. You gotta try it for him because you know that other girl is not gonna want his taco sausage, if you know what I mean. What was your mom like? Young, funny, dead. Dang, she should start a support group with Laura Jean with all of these dead moms. She sounds cool. Yeah. I bet she would have tried the taco sausage. Hey, don't talk about her mom like that. That's inappropriate. Dude, she's barely biking. Why is he running so hard? This is not effective for your football practice. Ooh, what secrets? The truth is, I'm an Asian lesbian. What else could I like about her? How her eyes look right into yours. Oh no, she's gonna go off on a tangent. She twirls her hair when she's reading. How her laugh busts out like she can't help herself and she stops being so perfect. Girl. Your lesbian is showing. Your lesbian is showing. You could better reel that back. Reel that back. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh. No, I, I was just talking. I, I would never, ever actually... No, it is. And you don't even care. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is heartbreaking. Look, you made the himbo sad. You know he can't process more than two emotions at once. It's too much for his brain. Oh no, we're really trying the taco sausage. Is it good? What? You know, dad has been really down in the dumps. <laughs> he has nothing else to live for. We'll give him this one thing. Do not run after her train. Do not. Do not. Oh. Ooh, this is gonna parallel to a future scene where he's gonna run after the main girl's train. Ooh, Ellie's got a voice. A oh, multi-talented queen. Oh, he hears it. Wow, I like the song that uh, you sing. That song you write good. It sound good to my ears. Uh, I'm probably gonna crash and burn. No thanks for sticking out with me anyway. Not like you didn't pay me. That's, that is true. Listen, all you gotta do is just collect your coin, then get the hell out of there. What is this, a Sarah J. Mass novel? Why all the ellipses? She is so confused. There are some people who text so differently than how they speak in real life. And this is like the ultimate discrepancy. You have beautiful eyes, a beautiful laugh, a beautiful smile, a beautiful taco sausage. Bone structure, more like boner structure, got him. He likes how my sausage sounds and he wants to try it. Rose, I thought this was a PG-13 movie. I kissed her. How does that happen? Uh, I kissed her. How do you know she wants to be kissed? You think a guy asks? You think a guy asks for consent? She gives you a look. A look? This is gonna be foreshadowing for later when she thinks that the other girl's giving her a look and then she's gonna go in for a kiss. Someone's gonna call her chugga chugga choo choo. Beat me right to it. It's okay. Hold your head up, girl. Your crown is falling. I wish I was her friend. I would be cheering so loud. I just want her to know that she's so talented and smart and so much more than she thinks that she is. Half the way. We love an indie singer. Wait, is that it? Give us some more. Give us some more. Don't be shy. Give us some more. Dude, that was literally just... Less than a minute of singing. Come on. I'm not gonna clap until she sings like at least a chorus. When did Ellie Chu get kinda hot? <gasps> Shut the 
fuck up, dude. Get the hell out of here. You and your nasty ass yellow fever. I just wanted to tell you we've had math together all four years and I always wanted to say that I like your nails. I knew it. I could tell because she was also wearing a flannel shirt. They be speaking the same language, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yo, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there many, many times before. But I never had my own taco sausage take care of me like that. On our first date, uh, I just get talking about books. Oh my god, who just talks about books all the time? What a fucking nerd! I like this drug off to the side. Ooh, it's a metaphor. Cause she wants to be deflowered. <gasps> Are these deciduous trees? <laughs> Are these deciduous trees? We don't have trees like this in Sacramento. You wanna see my tree in Sacramento? <laughs> Ooh, splash the splash splash. Oh wait, you still have your shirt on? All right, okay, baby steps, I guess. Is that long underwear? Hey. Hey, long underwear means extra protection, okay? Don't be judging. I don't think I've ever hung out with a girl and not talked about boys before. You mean you fail the betch they'll test every time? That's a reflection on you, okay? I should marry Trig. Why? Dude, you're like a high school senior or junior. <laughs> you don't even have to get married that quick or ever. Like, dang, this girl just settles so quick. I guess that's the story. Like, they all did. <laughs> Paul's letter appeared in my locker. His name is Paul? That's funny because my best friend in college is a white dude named Paul. <laughs> I also helped write his resume for him. Man, I should have helped him write his own love letters. Then we could have our own movie. Oh my god, this is so sapphic. Look at this shot. It's just so sapphic. How odd. Also, why does she still have her glasses on? That's dangerous. You could lose your glasses like that. I lost my glasses like that, actually. I went river rafting and that's how I lost it. This some gay shit right here. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go with the heartbreak. She's like, how could this have happened? How could I have been helping this guy out with a girl and now they're together? <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? Damn, he's so tall. Look at that height difference. How was she even able to reach up to him? She had to fucking jump on a trampoline just to reach to his lips. Uh, hey. What? I kiss Aster. <gasps> what? What are you doing? You don't- What? Oh. Why? Is it someone else? What? <gasps> Aster. No! Aster, this is not... No! You like Aster? Oh, no! Yeah. Shit! It's a sin. <gasps> Don't say that! You're going to hell. Don't say that! What the fuck? No, I'm really gonna tear up. <laughs> That's awful. Damn. I know he's gonna apologize later, but man, that fucking, that's hurtful. I'm on to you, Ellie Chu. Are we about to witness a hate crime? <laughs> At first I thought this was like the credits and I was like, bitch. I mean, that would have been realistic to real life, but still. You were supposed to be an ally. How do you know if you are gay? Oh no, I think his family is gonna see his search history. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, mom, 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 don't. She seems sad. Oh, she seems, yeah, because her best friend turned out to be a homophobe. How about you fucking talk to her and make up to her? You better pay her tuition to Cornell. This is only fair, okay? That's reparations on two levels, racial and LGBT. I love their little kitchen. It's a cute, uh, quaint kitchen. I say as I fight the tears back and suck them back in my eyeballs. <sighs> <laughs> Why are you talking to him in Mandarin as if he can understand that? Oh no. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, she's had to grow up really fast. 
He doesn't know what the fuck you're saying. Have you ever loved someone so much? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you don't want anything about her to change. Yeah. If you really love someone, then you should accept them for who they are. <laughs> Why the fuck am I getting emotional? <laughs> You're late. I had to grind something. Ooh, <laughs> don't say that to your mom after she saw your search history. Love is patient. Love is kind. <sighs> Bitch, is this a walk to remember? And why she'll make me a fantastic wife. Ew. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, dramatic. Ooh. Say it. Say it. Fucking say it. Say it. Say you hate the straights and just say it. Love isn't pretending. Dude, your mom is gonna think that you're coming out. <laughs> because I've been pretending. And I've been thinking about how much it would suck to have to pretend to be not you your whole life. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. I always thought that there was one way to love. Oh my god, this is so sweet. <laughs> there are more. Uh, so many more than I knew. And I never want to be the guy who stops loving someone for loving the way that they want to love. Oh, this is so sweet. We love an ally. Is this really the boldest stroke you can make? Ooh, lesbian innuendo? You know what? I'll let it pass, even though it's a PG-13 movie. Just this once. Ooh, she mad. She going through a roller coaster of emotions. I saw that coming. Now that is some divine intervention. Her impact. Her impact. This was like me when I entered booktube and I made all the whites mad. I wish I could have been her friend in school. I would have been so supportive of her. Also, I would have asked her to do my homework too. <laughs> Love is messy and horrible and selfish and bold. By Ellie Chu. We love a philosopher queen. Art school? That's great. <sighs> if she's straight, don't worry. Wait till she graduates art school. Then we fucking got her. Did he screen out? leaving tomorrow. That's great, Ellie. Take care. Aster, don't be such an ass, turd. Got him. Deep down, I probably knew the truth. Yeah, <laughs> let's be honest. Did you ever think there was more than two brain cells? I like her bike. I think that's a single speed bike. That's also the kind of bike I rode in college. We would be such good friends. We have a lot in common. We have a lot in common. We both have best friends named Paul who are dumb himbos. She's gonna kiss her. She's gonna kiss her. I fucking knew it. Damn, that was a bold stroke right there. Oh my god, is she bringing his sausage tacos? That's fucking disgusting, but you know, that's sweet. Oh my god, is he gonna chase after her? Bitch, if he chases after her on the train, I'm gonna fucking cry. Hey! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! <laughs> Shit, Ellie, you got me crying in the club too. That's so cool that they made an indie movie about Paul and me. Fun fact, Paul actually did have a crush on me in college and I had to reject him. So I guess the movie really was about us. Hmm. Whenever I cry in a video, I tend to profit off of my tears by saying that this video has been sponsored by Skillshare. Got him! Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. Skillshare offers creative classes that are designed for your real life, including circumstances that might make you a little bit uncertain in your life, like what's going on right now. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads, and an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Since I have just watched a beautiful cinematic movie, I think it would be most appropriate to recommend this specific class called iPhone Filmmaking. They talk about what apps and gear you need to get the most cinematic footage possible and how to use key pieces of gear like lenses and tripods and if you want to try these classes for free the first thousand people who click on the link in my description will get two months of free skillshare premium classes i hope you unsubscribe from my channel and goodbye